si los hongos se comunican con nosotros y nosotros no somos capaces de poder entender lo que ellos nos enuncian no es porque los hongos no se puedan comunicar sino que habla de nuestra incapacidad de poder comunicarnos con ellos entonces me pregunto ¿qué nos quieren decir los hongos? ¿qué nos quieren decir? about this idea of the magic of like finding a mushroom it's so brief that you you can't miss it and i remember seeing a veiled lady mushroom do you know that one that has like a tiene la red al costado and i just went crazy because it was right there so this idea of intersection of time and space that you are right there um seems fitting for the for the mycelium for the network the mycelium or the network had always been there. If there's nothing that you can read and make you learn or know more than if you really spend time with mushrooms. When I started working with mushrooms, it shaped somehow the way I connect with myself also yeah. in another way, completely different. Did you talk about control? <laughs> And I think a mushroom is so difficult uh, control. I don't think that you can control this this body. You have to learn how to dealing with them. And this is also for my life, you because we try to control our life with our decision. And there are another condition, another thing that you can control. You trust you learn how to be with them. We talk about how we understand time, what we can learn from nature's times. Time is an invented structure that somehow determines everything else based on production and based on, of course, like capitalism and imperialism, imperialism of time. So there's this idea that we have to follow it blindly. More than just slowing down, it's, it's really understanding that time sort of stretches out. You kind of end up unlearning from that and realizing that it's much, much simpler, like slowing down, doing less, but doing it better, working on building relationships and and strengthening bonds with people rather than just like producing and producing, producing and producing, producing and producing and producing and producing. And producing. The reason of being is el buen vivir. The reason of being is el buen conocer. Reconnecting the communication of, of our birth. Cada una tiene que vivir su dolor. You have to live your own pain. If you go back to nature, like it's it's almost kind of just going back to very basic processes yeah. that you need to unlearn things. Yeah. Yeah. Colonialism, patriarchy, extractivism, capitalism. In Latin America, we work with so little like so little resources that you learn to get really, really creative. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you realize that capitalism is not gonna work for you if you want to survive. I love talking about like sport dispersion strategies. The spores can be everywhere. People are also good dispersers. People love to see that. I love talking about like sport dispersion strategies. We have this, uh, we have this one fungus that only lives in Tierra del Fuego and in Tasmania. It's ancient connection, called one land. One of the ways in which they are called in Tierra del Fuego is pan del indio. It's one of those ancestral vestiges of that, of that connection. 
we're all connected. It would be very sad um, for the overall, you know, lucha, yeah. um, for the movements to yeah. not understand that we're yeah. all connected. ¿Cómo se siente el sol en tu piel? What is memory? What is an archive? What is preservation in a place where things don't last? DNA kind of remains um, forever. And this concept of natural heritage and the prohibition of natural heritage can also, yeah. and the not giving access to nature yeah. can also, is, it's also problematic in a way. A natural heritage that is so important for the cultural identity. That it's not, you know, just like brown or white. It is, and it's not only, you know, like adoring Pachamama or adoring Jesus. It's like really much more. Uh, yeah, like mix and complex, and it is and it is not at the same time. So the continuation of low knowledge had to be able to adapt in order to survive. Fungi is is that is like this non dualistic way of looking. Eh, los hongos están como un poco entre medio, siento, y vienen como a destruir esta noción eh, tan armada de vida muerte. They, they show us another way of relating. The ways in which um, we study organisms is very much related to how we value them socially and commercially. Yeah. The fact that rust fungi are pathogens on a variety of plants and, and, and very valuable plants, they are studied by people who are funded, you know, by scientists who receive funding from agricultural industry. And there's so many other really cool groups of fungi that are not well studied because they simply don't have, um, they're not, you know, kind of ironically made into an enemy. Um, and it's like their enemy status that has brought funding upon them so that so that they can be eradicated. The, the, the Museo del Hongo was born in Chile that was to bring justice to the fungi, justicia para los hongos. And, and in that search for justice for the fungi, came all this reclaiming of connotations, creation of words, um, you know, asking for language to be used in the correct way. So that's really sort of the, the genesis. It's like a, a movement that reclaims justice for the fungi. Well, there is no regeneration if there isn't any degeneration. Fungi do that. We've got to let things rot. Los hongos tienen muchos poderes y pueden transformarlo.